Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me is June Liu from the Box Press Studio, Seth Geis, and from the Pastani Studio is John McTavish. How are you guys doing? Doing good, man. Doing good. Doing good. Nice. All right. So today we are talking about the, if I can bring it up, Matilde Serena Maduro Robusto. Uh, cigar is five and a quarter by 50 comes out of the Tabacalera Palma factory in the Dominican Republic. Wrapper is a Mexican San Andres. Uh, binder is from the Dominican Republic. Filler is from the Dominican Republic and Nicaragua. Uh, price point is $8 and 50 cents. And the cigar was released in March of 2023. So with all that out of the way, June, what was your overall experience like with this cigar? Yeah, I thought it was uh I thought it was a very like subtle flavored approach um on the blend. Um I, I didn't like uh so subtle that it kind of tasted a bit thin at times. Um in terms of like flavor kind of profile, uh got a bunch of like creamy cedar, uh leathery kind of tannins going on. I did get some really nice cherries out the first third, but that was gone by the time it got the second third. Um yeah, I, I I don't know why, but I just kind of expected, you know, very Matilde flavor for cigar, but with a bit more oomph given that it's a uh, mix of San Andreas. But I definitely did not get that. I got more like subtleties than anything, not in the best way. All right, Seth, what were your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I it, it started out with this charred wood, mineral spice, and or in earth flavor profile. There were some faint tobacco qualities it just was really lacking um medium full strength body um yeah decent burn and draw just really lacking in terms of anything from beginning to end john i guess i got the good one um i agree with june's assessment that i thought it was pretty subtle um like in fact more subtle than i think a lot of the matilde's uh, we've smoked in the past. And so maybe that's kind of where some of that expectation comes from. But I, I would say the profile was almost Dominican in, in its approach and in, in the sense that like, I found myself really having to reach for flavors at times, but the flavors that were there, I thought were really good. Like in the first third, uh, a lot of bread and graham cracker, uh, again, you know, light plus some cinnamon, um, just sort of a general sweet tobacco note, chocolate, um, really well balanced. And then the second third, uh, where a lot of cigars tend to fall off, um, you know, some more of the same creamy cinnamon bread. Uh, there was some wood that kind of took through the center of the profile, but didn't overwhelm the palate. And then the last third, uh, creamy earth, chocolate, tannic wood, um, baking spices. Uh, yeah, it was, you know, I've smoked a lot of poor Mexican San Andre and I don't know. I thought it was good. Uh, perfect draw, perfect burn. So, uh, I'm sure I'm going to be at the top on this one. Aaron, what about you? Yeah, for me, the cigar started with toasted oak, earth, and light baking spice. Got some light baker's chocolate that joined in pretty quickly and uh, some creaminess a little bit later. Uh, second third saw a light cardboard note join in, and then the final third saw the cardboard note depart. Um, I as well had perfect construction on my uh, my sample. Um, I thought the cigar started with a mellow profile that was kind of a bit average. Uh, fullness of flavors increased in the second third, and they were you know were working pretty well together, which bumped up the enjoyment level. Um, but the fullness increased some more in the final third. So that kind of dropped back down to average. It was the balance kind of left its sweet spot that it had in the second third. Um, it scores a bit above average. Um, I could see coming back to it from time to time, uh, but nothing, not, nothing had come back to any with any regular regularity. Um, I, I, I might be open to trying the Toro Bravo size just to see, you know, kind of how it fares against this one. But, um, you know, I really enjoyed the, uh, the original Matilde Connecticut kind of shade. So it was going to be a tall task for this cigar, I think, to, to match up with that. So, um, you know, not really uh, able to do so. Um, all right, let's get into the scores. We are going to start at the top with John at 7.17. Uh, June and I both gave it a 6.1 and Seth gave it a 4.53. So how that 7.17 match up for you, John? The role of Seth Geist will be played by John McTavish this afternoon. Um, yeah, it matches up well. Um you know, this doesn't factor in the price point, which uh, is outstanding, but, uh, you know, it ticked every box for me. So, uh, at 850, I mean, Jesus. Yeah, uh, matches up well. All right, June, 6.1. 
Um, six one is respectable. Uh, but I I don't know, I I don't think I'd go back to it. Uh, it's a little bit too subtle for me. I I loved, and I know you love the original Matilde, yeah. um, Serena, right? Um, I think you know, bring back the Connecticut Shade and just <laughs> not bring it back, but like go smoke the Connecticut Shade instead. Yeah. Uh, my six one matches up well. I mean, it's above average flavor profile, perfect structure, kind of gets it there. So, you know, I, it's, I mean, in the run of Mexican San Andreas that we've been smoking, <laughs> this is not the worst of them. Um, so I'm not sure if that's an endorsement, but it's also uh, with with the price point, it's uh, it's not a bad, it's not a bad cigar. Um, I, you know, I'd smoke it again every once in a while, but uh, like I said, I tried the Toro Bravo size. All right, Seth, four point five three. I mean, listen, I I just have an issue with it on on multiple levels you know i i don't i agree i think the connecticut was fantastic they've never done this whole let's add a second rapper to a line you know they've had renacer they've had the oscura i think it was flat i mean so i was i was just harsh on it yeah. so but <clears throat> it is it's just like june's right people are going to smoke her and be like man connecticut's better i should just go smoke the connecticut and they have a good yeah. mexican with the oscura so just Go smoke that. It's mm. pointless. That's my pick. Good price, though, I guess. There you go. The price mm. is nice. All right. Any other final thoughts from you guys on this one? All right. Tons got a good palate. It's a great stick. <laughs> I, I ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wherever you catch this video, be sure to like and subscribe and check out the full written review on the website, developmentpalace.com. You can follow us on all the social media channels. You can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, so iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. Robusto.